Yes guys, welcome back to another video here on the Andy Hashtag One channel. Today's video is three exercises to help improve your low diving. I'm joined by exceptional goalkeeper, Lewis Hawes, who you may know from previous, from previous videos, if I can get my words out. We're gonna tell, talk you through these three exercises to help you improve your game. Let's go. Right, to give these three exercises some context, we're going to talk about, just very briefly, about a really good FA Learning webinar which talks about practice design for goalkeeper sessions. And in particular, it talks about incorporating decision-making within your practice. So within that webinar, which I'll link below, which of course you can watch after this video, not before, but after this video, uh, it talks about three different types of exercises or classifications of exercises, such one being announced, the second one being unannounced, and the third one being live. And essentially this is a sliding scale going from not very realistic to the game, at those bottom zero, one and two kind of numbers, up to very much very realistic to the game uh, at up to the nines and the tens and then within there an announced session would be something where the goalkeeper is aware of both practice structure and the service type so this might be a uh, goalkeeper you're going to receive volleys or strikes from the angle for example uh, an unannounced practice would be where the goalkeeper is aware of either of either the practice structure or the service types this again could be uh, shots from the angle but this might be actually you might get a volley you might get a half volley or you might get a strike from the floor might be slight changes in position to that uh, and then the third one being a live where the goalkeeper is unaware of both the practice structure and the service type so basically anything could happen it's more realistic to the game and what you might actually face so we're going to show you three exercises one is going to be an announced one is going to be an unannounced exercise and the third one being more of a live type exercise and again it does reinforce within that webinar there's not one necessarily right answer to this there's we shouldn't be doing just one particular type of practice all of them have their uses dependent on the context of the overall session right let's get into it Okay, so the first exercise we're looking at here is an announced practice. The goalkeeper knows what the service type is like and knows what the practice structure is. It's a great technical exercise. You get lots and lots of repetition for it. Uh, we've got two mini goals in there just as uh, targets. Uh, and we're asking the server to pass the ball um, towards those targets and the goalkeeper to make a low diving save. We're starting the goalkeeper on the knees just so it makes that a little bit easier and it removes uh, part of the bottom half so you can concentrate just on what's going on with the top half. Um, so the first thing we're asking the goalkeeper to do is step out that knee at about a 45 degree angle and get a forward looking dive on it, that 45 degree angle. This is so if you do deflect it, if you do parry instead of holding, then it means that hopefully the ball will go forwards and not backwards. There are obviously going to be times in a game where you do dive sideways and do dive backwards, but if you can dive at that 45 degree angle, it's preferable. Now, what we're also asking for here is the goalkeeper to use three hands on the ball when the ball's being secured so that's the one hand behind one hand on top and the floor makes the third hand and we're just going to get loads of reps in here and we're going to get loads of repetition and, and to build that technique of getting low and through the back of the ball try not just to dump on top try and get low through the back of the ball and hold the ball we're also trying to take the impact on the side of the body and the shoulder and keeping that elbow tucked in so it doesn't the ball doesn't then pop out now we're going to take this exercise on a little bit further and it's going to be the same sort of practice but this time the goalkeeper is going to be on the feet. So now we can start looking at what the set position looks like, how balanced the goalkeeper is within that set position and now we're asking the step out to be with the foot, not just the knee, the weight, the weight then to transfer over the knee, down onto the floor, across and through the back of the ball. So we are asking just that little bit more but again it's an announced practice so the goalkeeper gets lots of repetitions and lots of opportunity to practice and really try and hone that technique. If you want to add you know, a little bit more pace to the ball, now's the time to do it. If you're going to ask the goalkeeper to do some um, recovery movements as well, that could be added in. Additional bit of exercise and technique, technical detail that you could add into this practice. Um, as you saw there, Lucy's had to parry one as well, so it's a slightly different type of save, it's a slightly different type of decision, but ultimately it's that um, announced practice of low diving weight, lots and lots of technical repetition. Right, we're going to move the session on a little bit to now what is uh, an unannounced practice. So again, the goalkeeper is aware of either the practice structure or the service type. It's one or the other, if you're smack bang in the middle of that definition. And in this case, the goalkeeper is aware of the practice structure, but we're going to change the service type slightly. So we're just going to start with a volley in, just as a little bit of handling, just to start off the practice. 
the goalkeeper's then going to roll the ball back and then the server's going to pass the ball either to one side or the other. This time the goalkeeper's not going to be aware of which side the ball is going. So that's that unannounced element to it. So we're going to add in a few extra things to this practice. We're going to look at that general handling. We're going to look at um, the set position and we're then going to look at the, the low dive. Now one of the things you want to try and avoid is exactly what I've done here and that's preloading essentially um, one side before having to dive the other. So what I've tried to do there is pick up clues and pick up triggers from Lewis of what he's, which side he's going and then ultimately guessed uh, or slight guess before actually then having to make a save and in this case I've got the guess wrong so I went the wrong way so it's really important that you wait until and react to the actual strike that's in front of you rather than guessing to what you think is going to happen now what's really good about this type of exercise before the other is that you do get that extra additional um, decision making within it but again trying to pick up triggers and pick up clues to where the balls go and then reacting to it Okay, so the third exercise that we're looking at here is um, an exercise which is moving towards live. So it's not going to absolutely replicate what you're going to get into the game, but it is a lot more realistic than the other two exercises that you've seen already. Now, we're somewhat limited here to what we're able to do because Lewis is, is in goal and we've only got one other person here. So there is only one other server or one other striker forward or opposition player that we're able to build into this practice. We're asking the goalkeeper here just to take a, a, a throw against the rebounder that we've added in. Then we've added in a bit of um, distribution. In this case, we're asking a roll or a throw. It could be a strike from the ground. It could be a volley. The uh, server, or the striker, is moving around that 18-yard box type line. Um, he's just trying to find a different position in there. So we're asking the goalkeeper to take up different positions within the goal. We've also got a couple of mannequins within the 18-yard box just to add in additional bit of uh, distraction in front of the goalkeeper, which could be like a static centre-half or something along those lines. So what we're asking the server or the striker to do here is it might be a touch around the mannequin and strike. It might be uh, a couple of strike, uh, a couple of touches and strike. It might be a one-on-one. -on -one. It might be just something different. So we're going to get different outcomes from the goalkeeper. It might not be a low dive every time. Although we do have those small goals still in the big goal, as we might want to have some sort of reward system in, um, or a double points if you score in the low goals, or you know, some sort of encouragement to try and bring out the technical elements that we're trying to bring out in the other two practices. So you're going to get different things going on with the goalkeeper, which means ultimately you've got a lot more to be able to coach and discuss here. So it might be from that initial catch to a turn in to what's distribution like, what's the positioning like, how quickly to get into position. Um, then, of course, uh, then you're getting into what does set position look like, what does the save outcome uh, come to, lots and lots of different things in order to, uh, to coach and to different things to get out of the actual practice. Uh, in my case, Lewis managed to hit the post a couple of times and also hit the crossbar of the little goal in. Um, so we're trying to get out what is a low dive but in a different type of situation uh, Lewis finds the bottom corner so lots of different things that potentially could get out here lots of different things you could coach but hopefully we'll be able to see some low dives actually take place within this exercise that video hope you've enjoyed it go away and practice those three exercises to help improve your low dives let me know how you get on make sure you comment below and of course if you have liked the video like it subscribe more goal goal more goalkeeper content coming soon many thanks to Luce for coming down and helping out hopefully that will have improved your low dives yeah, many many thanks as well to Alf for behind the camera that's it thanks for watching see you all soon